This doesn't happen to everyone, but if it does, it's a huge pain. Graphics cards are great when they work. As I said at the start, they don't happen to everyone, but when they do happen, it's a really big pain to get them sorted out. Unlike other components, these are usually the most expensive parts, and the average person doesn't have a whole stock market pile of GPUs just right next to their PC. But after having this problem myself, and doing a bit of experimentation, there is a way to basically fix all GPUs as long as it's a software error. If it's hardware, well, sorry. So in this video, I'm gonna be taking you through a couple of steps to get your GPU back in working order. Now, this video is going to be a fix for like software and drivers and stuff. So if it is a hardware fault, you might be a bit out of luck, but we can check if it is that by doing a few things. The first thing is to make sure that the cable coming from your GPU is securely fastened in and coming from your monitor. It would also be good to make sure that the cable and the GPU port are both clean and not broken or anything. If your cable is like very bent or it looks like one of the pins are missing or anything, you might have to replace it and that could be your issue. Inside the PC, there are a few things you can check. You can make sure that the GPU power cable is, first of all, the right one. I'm looking at you, Zuber, making sure that it's also fastened in right. And also make sure that the GPU is slotted in correctly. It would also be a good idea to take it out and put it back in, making sure that all the pins on the card itself are properly in. A good last resort measure to make sure that it is a graphics card issue is to maybe use another one if you have it. When testing out stuff to make sure that it's that specific component that is the issue is to make sure by using different stuff. So for example, if I know this graphics card fully works, which it does, and then this starts bugging out as well, then you can test out stuff like RAM and hard drive and stuff. Say you've done all that and the issue is still there. Well then, you more than likely got a software or driver issue and this video will help you solve that. First thing you want to do is make sure that your Windows is up to date as well as your GPU drivers. Next, you wanna head over to the website from Guru3D. Oh, by the way, all the websites and stuff will be linked in the description down below. But you wanna scroll down to where it says download locations and you can click on the Netherlands one. If your region is here, you can click on that. But we're gonna go into Netherlands and you literally just wait here for a bit and it should pop up here. Yep, there it is. It comes up in a zip folder. Once it's fully downloaded, you go over to your documents, go to downloads, and yep, see right here. So you right click on this and do extract to Guru3D, that stuff. And it'll pop up right here in just a normal folder. Once we're in here, we can double click this, click extract, and then this will pop up. So we can just do the DDU from here, but it's better that I'll be going safe mode and I'll take you through how you do that. All you do is you click the little windows icon here and hold shift on your keyboard and click restart. Then this will come up, you click on troubleshoot, advanced, go to startup settings and click restart. That's all you do and now you'll go back into safe mode. Yep, your PC will restart and it might come up like this. Just go down, you have to use arrow keys. Go down and click safe mode. Now it will load up something like this and it might bug out if you have a like wallpaper engine, nothing will load. It only loads just the bare minimum. So then we go over to our documents again, go on downloads and everything will still be here. So we want to click on the folder, go on to DDU and then we go to display driver uninstaller and then it'll load up something like this. Once we're in here, we need to select our device type. So if it's audio GPU, this case will be GPU and then you click on your type. So for you, you might have an NVIDIA. So if it has like GTX or RTX or something like that, you wanna go in NVIDIA. But for me, I have an AMD card and some, you might not even have a graphics card at all. You might be running off integrated graphics and there is an option for that, but we're gonna be doing AMD. In this case, you wanna do clean and restart. As you can see in the log, it'll just start doing a bunch of stuff. The screen might even start flickering and stuff, but it's best that you just leave it. Oh, I just missed it, but it just closed. And now, yeah, it's gonna automatically restart. I forgot to mention the main reason that this works anyways is that when you download a driver sometimes it can overlap on top of the old one and even though there is an option to factory reset the driver so it just completely deletes it and then makes a new one a lot of the time it isn't perfect and it leaves a bit of remnants from the old driver what this software does is it completely wipes it out so now we should restart back into our normal windows stuff and once we're here yep okay well my AMD software has gone. We're not out of the woods yet. We still need to get our drivers up to date. If you're on an AMD graphics card like I am, you wanna to go to their driver support and just put in a bunch of stuff. Like for example, I'm on RX 
6500 XT and then submit and then it'll pick out the right one for you but if you're on GeForce you can go to GeForce Experience and download their software and it'll automatically do it for you both of these will also be linked in the description but for me I'm gonna go to Windows 10 and yep yeah, gonna do the recommended one there is an optional one but uh, just it's best to do the one that's of course recommended so we download and then it'll just start downloading in the corner when the downloads done you want to just click it here click yes install and then it'll just start doing its thing and it'll take you through a few steps after a while it'll show up something like this we just want to click install and then it'll just start doing its thing it will also start flickering and stuff but that'll be fine when it's done it'll ask you to restart so just go ahead and do that after the restart we can go into the software and we're done that's all the steps done and hopefully that fixed the issue and that is actually the end of the video as well so if you like this video make sure you like it and if you like this video then subscribe hopefully we have a bit more videos like this coming in the future but yeah that's pretty much it for me all right bye